So nice to be connecting with you on Labor Day. This will be my last video until Shabbat Shuva in two weeks. Parshat Nitzavim, we all gather together. Doesn't matter if you're a wood chopper or a water drawer. We all merited hearing the words of God as exhibited through Moses the final speech of his life. Each of us is made in God's image. Each of us has infinite worth as human beings. Each of us is important. And we need to recognize that just as each of our ancestors merited hearing the words of God at Mount Sinai, and at this part of Moses' end of his life, so too does each of us merit being heard, being appreciated for who we are as we are. That's the lesson we need to take into the year 5781. That's the lesson we need to take into Rosh Hashanah. One last comment. I heard beautiful, insightful words from Logan Timmons, the son of Jason and Melissa Timmons, the grandson of Neil and Vicki Roth. It is not too baffling for you. It's not in the heavens, the Torah. It is something right here in your heart. It is something accessible to each and every one of us. How true are those words? When we feel something's too hard, when we feel a challenge is insurmountable, when we feel hopeless, we have to remember Loba Shamayim He. It's not in the heavens. It's not something out there that we can never reach. It's not something hopeless. Now don't get me wrong. I had hypotonia, low muscle tone as a kid, I would have never been an Olympic gy gymnast. Never. Logan Timmons might have a shot. I didn't. I probably wouldn't have been a good surgeon. My hands are a little too shaky. There are things we're not cut out for. I'm not cut out to be a canner. We know that. But we also know so many things are within our grasp. So many things are possible. You'll hear a little more about this on the High Holy Days. Some of the things we might have thought as being impossible actually occurring when we least expected them. It's not in the heavens. It's not for us to throw out excuses, to throw out blame, to say, oh, this was never going to be. There was no chance of this. No. Lo bashamayim he. It's right here. If only we can grasp it. If only we can have the courage to try, to, the faith to believe in ourselves. That's what we need before Rosh Hashanah. That's what we need in order to go into 5781 with courage, with serenity, and with grace. God... Please grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Ketiva v'chatima tova. May each of us be written for a good sentence in the book of life in the year 5781. Shana Tovah.